This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 5.30. Coverage you can count on. All new at 5.30, a Walt Disney World employee says she was sexually harassed at a company event. She grabbed me from my shoulder against her body, tried to kiss me and stick her tongue in my mouth. Now she says she owes the company more than $100,000 after she lost her case. The worker says she was sexually harassed at a company event. She took Disney to court but lost. Now she owes the company more than $100,000. Channel 9 investigative reporter Darlene Jones found out at least one court record shows the woman was offered $1,000 at one point and she rejected it. Why the court has ordered her to pay the legal fees from the lawsuit, Darlene. Yeah, Martha, the law allows a defendant to go after a plaintiff for legal fees if they win a lawsuit, particularly if they reject a settlement, which was offered in this case. At least one court record shows she was offered $1,000 at one point and rejected it. This is the lawsuit filed by Sonia Book against Walt Disney World and one of its employees. Book claims a co-worker committed assault and battery when she allegedly sexually harassed her during a company event. Book and her attorney provided us with this video deposition of the Disney investigator who looked into the claims early on in the case while evidence was still being examined. You determined that she exercised poor judgment? Yes. And you also determined that she uh, violated the anti- Sexual harassment policy? Yes. A jury at the Orange County Courthouse disagreed and determined Book had no case in the discrimination lawsuit or sexual harassment case. Appeals in the cases were also rejected. What's troubling about how they're going after Ms. Book, they concluded in their own internal investigation that she was sexually harassed. Now her wages are being garnished because this court order requires her to repay $118,000 in legal fees. Book still works at Disney, but says even with income coming in, she may have to file for bankruptcy. I'm not able to, to pay that kind of money. She says money was even garnished from an account she oversees for her aunt, but they are fighting to get that money back. And she started a GoFundMe account to help pay off this debt. According to that video deposition, that other Disney employee was disciplined. So, darling, I would think that Disney is a big company and not unusual to be facing lawsuits, whether it's like this or some other lawsuit. And you know, I wanted to know just how often. So I looked online today, just a typical search of the clerk of court's office. And just this year, there are more than three dozen lawsuits filed against Disney right now for various allegations. That's just this year. So you can imagine that Disney's legal fees for this $118,000, what they would look like for other cases. Absolutely. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Are you sure that, uh, as Mr. McLeod testified, are you sure that it wasn't for uh, misconduct? Yes, I'm sure. Are you sure it wasn't for um, poor judgment? Yes, I'm sure. And you, as you sit here and, and, you, and you read here today where Mr. McLeod testified on the oath that you were given a disciplinary memorandum. Did you read that? I read that. And you're saying that Mr. Peter McLeod's sworn testimony that you were issued a disciplinary memorandum for sexually harassing Zonya Book, that, that was, that's inaccurate? You can answer the question, ma'am. Yes, that's inaccurate. You were never given a, a disciplinary uh, memorandum? I was never given a disciplinary memorandum. And did you also read here today... Um, where he said that the occurrence was mentioned on your annual performance evaluation 
Is that correct? I read that. Is it so that as it relates to the allegations made uh, by Ms. Book against you for sexually harassing her, is it so that that was also mentioned on your performance evaluation? It was not.